Yo, 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 how's it going? I'm back in the video, and today I'm going to be talking about how the Sacramento Kings may have made one of the biggest mistakes in their entire franchise history, and honestly, maybe one of the worser mistakes probably in recent memory as far as the NBA goes. And that move is going to be centered around the Tyrese Halliburton trade and the decisions and all the things that went into it, in my opinion, that make it such a bad trade for the Sacramento Kings. So if that does sound interesting, you please watch the video all the way through. Hit the like button, subscribe button, it mean the absolute word to me. And without further ado, without revealing too much, let's get right into this video. Alright, so the first thing I really want to get for this video is going to be the whole decision making process that even led up to the trade. And the main reason they even made the trade is because they found themselves in a very weird position of having three young guards and their guard room was just absolutely stacked and kind of getting log jammed. Those three guards being the veteran star De'Aaron Fox who has proven himself and they probably think they can build around the second year player Tyrese Halliburton at the time who is looking very, very good and showed that he did have tons and tons of room to grow and that he could be a very good player in the future and then they had rookie at the time Davion Mitchell and Davion Mitchell at the time was their backup on the bench but he was playing very solid so they had a decision to make when it came to trade deadline time and they kind of decided they wanted to keep De'Aaron Fox because they felt that he probably had the highest ceiling and he was just the best out of all of them at the time so they did want to keep De'Aaron Fox around so it really became a decision between the two young guards either the rookie Davion Mitchell or the second year guy Tyrese Halliburton and obviously they ultimately chose to go with trading Tyrese Halliburton to the Indiana Pacers and in return they got Demonis Sabonis and they also traded Buddy Hill to the Pacers as well. So that trade at the time was not really known what to think about it. Now a lot of people kind of thought the Kings made a mistake because Tyrese Halliburton was already getting kind of known around the league as a young guard with a very very high ceiling and at the time people didn't think the Kings were in any type of way to try to win now even with adding Demonis Sabonis on the team so the trade really didn't make sense at all and the Kings rightfully so were getting a lot of like kind of fire back for it from the media and from really basketball fans all around because people did not support the trade at all and now kind of looking at it hindsight that kind of stands up because if you look at what happened during that season after the trade Tyrese Halliburton in the 26 games in the 2021 through 2022 season where he played with the Indiana Pacers kind of gave you a preview of what was to come this year when he averaged 19.5 points per game 9.6 assists per game 4.3 rebounds per game and two steals per game and he did that in a 26 game period at the end of the year with the Pacers with no training camp no nothing and basically just off of pure skill and then in that same 26 game span with the Sacramento Kings the Sacramento Kings who were trying to make a playoff push and that's why they traded for Demonis Sabonis would go 10 of 16 in their last 26 games so that trade really in the short term did not work out for the Kings at all but what a lot of people were saying was it could be kind of a one of those deals where the Demonis Sabonis and De'Aaron Fox have to learn how to play together the whole team needs to jail and they might be able to become a legit playoff contender going into the 2022 through 23 season and it could end up working for them in the long run. And although in theory that does make sense, if you look at it for right now, what's gone in this season so far, that is not holding up very true at all. And it's kind of in a reverse way and you flip the teams. As so far with a team like the Indiana Pacers, who really came into this season in a rebuilding mindset and probably wanted a high lottery pick, they are currently sitting at the eighth seed in the Eastern Conference with a five and five record with so many nice and kind of interesting young guys on this team. This is one of the more interesting teams going forward for the foreseeable future but then you have the Sacramento Kings who came into this year trying to make a playoff spot and so far in the early going it is not going well for them as they currently sit at the 13th seed in the Western Conference with a 3 and 6 record and it's not even just from a team success standpoint because if you go from the individual success that the players that they traded for are having if you look at the two main ones in Tyrese Halliburton versus Demonis Sabonis Tyrese Halliburton this year is kind of having a breakout year with the Pacers averaging 21.7 points per game, 5 rebounds per game, 10 assists per game, 
two steals per game on 50% shooting from the field and 46% shooting from the three, by far having the best year of his career and showing that he can be the guy on a rebuilding team like the Indiana Pacers currently are, and he is leading them to some, a lot more success than a lot of people thought the Pacers would be able to find. And then you look at Demonis Sabonis, the other star involved in this trade. Although Sabonis has not been bad this year, he probably hasn't been what Sacramento Kings would have wanted for him to be, as he is currently averaging 16 points per game, 11 rebounds per game, 6 assists per game, on 54% shooting from the field, and probably the worst 3-point percentage I have ever seen on an NBA stat line being 9.1% from the 3-point line. Now, obviously, Sabonis is not a 3-point shooter, but he was a guy who can spread the floor in Indiana, and right now, he is doing it at a terrible rate, like one of the worst I've ever seen, and he really just isn't putting up the numbers that Halliburton is putting up, plus he's older, and he's supposed to be the guy that's going to help them win now, and that really hasn't resulted in wins in any way. And then if you look at Davion Mitchell, the guy that they chose to keep and try to develop him, opposing to keep Tyrese Halliburton and trading Davion Mitchell, Davion Mitchell is not struggling, and this is, by the way, coming from a very big Davion Davion Mitchell fan, he's just not having the best season so far, as he's only averaging 7.3 points per game, 1.6 rebounds per game, 2 assists per game on 45% shooting from the field, and 35.9% shooting from the 3-point line. So although not a bad season at all, especially for a guy coming off the bench in his second year, and by the way, I'm very high on Davion Mitchell, and I think he's going to be a very solid player, I just don't think he's ever going to be as good as Tyrese Halliburton is going to be, and I don't think Sabonis is ever going to be as good as the Kings fans want him to be and I don't think the big two of Fox and Sabonis is enough to get them at least in anything higher than a play-in spot when playoff time does come around. And I just don't think this team was in any position to make that trade, and it's really not looking good for them in short-term or long-term perspectives at all. Then I think it's probably only going to get worse and worse as Hal Burton gets better and better, and same with the Pacers, and as Sabonis gets older and he gets less effective, and De'Aaron Fox might get a little like aggravated because the Kings just aren't being successful and I think it could result in some very bad days for the Sacramento Kings coming ahead. But unfortunately, guys, that's my first video, so come below. Do you agree with me? Do you think that the Sacramento Kings probably made a huge mistake trading away Tyrese Halliburton, or do you think it could work out for them in the long run? I want to hear your thoughts in the comment section below. If you didn't like the video, point to like, my subscribe button, and the absolute word to me, and I hope you have a blessed day. Have a blessed day. See you have a blessed day. All glory to God. See you in the next video. Goodbye. Blah.